Hey everybody. I've just been really tired this week. Kind of grumpy, honestly. I think it's because I've been like, okay, so I kind of talked about this in my last video that is already up. So, um, well, the other one will be up by the time you see this. Anyway, in my video, I got protein powder and some pre-workout. And so I was kind of um, talking about that, but I, um, growing muscle is a big, big goal of mine for this year. It was for last year as well, but when COVID hit, kind of, kind of shifted some of my goals a little bit. So, um, now that I am, I know COVID's still a thing, but I have made the decision to, um, go back to the gym. I have a mask, um, but Wyoming, I mean, in comparison to a lot of other states is very lax when it comes to COVID regulation. So our gyms are open um, and I go there every weekday and it's a big part of, you know, self-care. But it also, um, because I've been making these changes to like lift heavier, because that's a goal of mine, um, I've been a lot more tired. So I'm trying to really um, make some other changes in my life to support that. So for example, I need to drink more water. I need to eat more. I need to get more rest, which I mean, my kids aren't going anywhere. So that's kind of, but we'll see. Um, so anyway, that's a long story to just simply say I am tired and I am associating it with the fact that I've been working out harder. Um, for example, I do one a long run a week um, because I'm a runner and I like to run distance. But like this week, just was not feeling it. I I ran three miles this week and was like, okay. Whereas last week I ran eight. So, and my goal had been to run a mile longer each week. So like I run eight, I ran eight last week. My goal would have been to run nine this week and so on and so forth because I need to get up to 13. Um, I mean, I was hoping to be at 13 this summer. I'd like to run a half marathon, my first half marathon, um, probably early fall. So I'm hoping to get up to 13 by then. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, so I've got sort of different goals that aren't necessarily needing to be competing with each other, but they sort of have been a little bit because I have to move my life around a bit to accommodate them. So anyway, that's why I'm sitting on my couch right now, um, trying to keep my dog appeased because he needs so much attention from me. So I'm like half like forcing him to stay right here next to me so he doesn't crawl on me entirely and then half like petting him so he doesn't think it's forced. Anyway, and then you saw my laptop there. So I'm responding to a lot of work emails right now. I've got a pretty important meeting here in a couple hours. So I'm just being a bum on the couch for now. I'm watching a cult documentary called Wild Wild Country on Netflix. I don't know about any of you, but I am kind of a cult junkie. I think it's that part that like that weird part of being human that we, we just like that freaky stuff, you know? Um, I'm definitely one of those people. So um, this one I had not ever heard of before, this particular group. And I'm really not far into it at all. I'm just on part two. So anyway, if you want to check that out, um, I'm not going to, I really don't know anything to share yet. And I don't want to give away too much if anyone else is a cult person and wants to watch it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just sitting here. Anyway, so that's my long spiel for now. Um, I'll see you guys in a bit when I am ready to do my work stuff. Okay, I lied. Um, I'm just upstairs getting myself something to drink. I happen to have this in my... God, I keep... Okay, I keep looking at my face and my skin, you guys. Oh, it's terrible. Like, it... I'm constantly ranting about it to my friends. Um, it is so bad. My skin... I've always had terrible, terrible skin. And, um, I did Accutane when I was a freshman in college because I finally was like, you know what, <laughs> I need a solution because everything that like I'd been doing, you know, in high school was like, go to the doctor and they give me some like topical thing that did absolutely nothing. Um, 
And I mean, shout out to anyone who has exquisite facial hygiene, but you still have really bad acne because that was me. Um, so anyway, um, my skin drives me nuts, but, um, I just did, this is my like teeny bit of face. I'm still going to put some lips on for my call, but, um, I'm just going back downstairs. I'll probably sit on the couch for what, like 10 more minutes before my meeting. Like I said, I just grabbed this out of the fridge. Um, I love these. They would be so, it would be so easy to make these at home. I have chia seeds and everything, but, um, sometimes when I go to the store, I kind of get these to entice myself to just like drink more because I have such a problem staying hydrated. Um, and I like these cause they've, you know, it has protein in it also from the chia and I'm just a weird person with texture. Like I, um, I kind of like to chew like my drinks and this like gives me a reason why <laughs> I guess <laughs> a reason to do that. Um, so anyway, I am going to go back over my meeting notes. Um, I'm going to be meeting first with my boss, um, just so that we can kind of put our heads together on some of what, um, we need to say in the bigger meeting. Um, and then I will have that. And then I will have a couple more hours before I have to get my babies. It's Friday, so they don't have school tomorrow. Um, and I always, every week I tell myself, like, I should kind of plan out my weekends, like activities that I plan on, like, doing with them or things they can do. Um, be because it's so easy to fall into that rut of, like, oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. I've been doing stuff all week. And, you know, my kids are exhausted too, but they need entertainment. They need to be doing things that spark learning and not just sitting in front of the TV or just sitting in the house. So, um, my plan is that once I'm done with my meeting, um, I'm pretty much done with my work work stuff today. So I plan on, um, kind of doing like a light meal plan because the other thing that I realized, I could, I could just always go on tangents with myself, but, um, before COVID hit, Okay. I was always the type of person who naturally, um, I think due to my anxiety would like imagine worst case scenario. Right. So I would always stock up on stuff. I had this weird thing about like, Oh my God, what if the store stops selling my favorite barbecue sauce? Like I need to have a lot of those barbecue sauces on hand so that God forbid Walmart stops carrying it. I've got it. And that might sound crazy to, to some people. I mean, and it, self-admittingly like it is it is a little bit over the top but on the other hand I have had Walmart stop selling things that I really loved okay so it's rooted in reality but at the same time like I would just I would overbuy like I would constantly have Zilly no babe she's chewing my shoe I would constantly have um like a full fridge like to the point where I couldn't Zill baby no 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 this is my dog right now okay I will show you guys in just a little bit the shoe just one no I have two I kept them um two of my most favorite pairs one are boots one are tennis shoes um Nike wedges that she has destroyed um, and it's all my fault. I left him out, whatever, but oh my God, this girl, <laughs> like she's a puppy. It's not her fault. Puppies, that's what they do. But, um, I've been kind of angry about that lately. Like, honestly, it put me in a really, really bad mood, mostly because the boots were Steve Madden boots that I got on super sale. And because I got them on super sale, because I don't ever buy anything really full price. They always wait till it's on sale. So because I got them on sale, that means they're like, getting rid of them right like they're not making them again or they're just getting rid of the stock they have left so naturally I literally got those shoes like a few weeks ago and I proceeded to wear them every day because they became my favorites and then she chews them up so I go right back online trying to order the boots and uh they're sold out of my size so I was upset but anyway okay hey dogs my dogs always God, what was I just saying? Mom brain. 
Tooth Max. Oh, I was talking about what I was going to do after work. Um, so, okay. Oh, yeah. So, um, my, I would always have my fridge, like, stocked to the point where I couldn't eat all my produce. You know, it would go bad. Like, I would buy things thinking, oh, yeah, like, I want to make this futuristically and then I would never make it like I'd have tofu that would sit in my fridge sit in my fridge sit in my fridge and go bad and I was just terrible about that um and I would always have like a bunch of extra toilet paper a bunch of extra paper towel like I was just crazy minded okay um and there's a lot of back history to that like you guys will probably learn from me through, if you watch my channel, if you keep watching my videos, or if you end up here and then you keep watching me or whatever, you've seen more than one, um, that like I am big on the um, personal growth thing and on kind of like breaking any kind of um, family like cycles, uh, history of trauma type deals that go on. So for example, when I was growing up, um, we were not like we were not poor by any means um but my parents um really know how to describe this well like we I grew up really privileged in a lot of senses meaning like I had horses I grew up with horses which is incredibly expensive and you know not everybody is just able to to own their own horses and live on a you know little ranchette and whatever but um my parents didn't do a great job of knowing their limits i guess so we got sort of immersed in the horse world and then um it was like we had we had all this stuff and at the same time my parents didn't weren't making the best choices i guess financially um my mom has she was always very frugal and there are reasons in her family for that as well but our cabinets were never very stocked like we weren't starving I mean but my parents just were weird about that like um I my thing was horses I I mean that was my world so I was so happy to be able to have that but at the same time you know as a child like my parents were constantly complaining about not having money um our cabinets were not full like our fridge wasn't usually full um and it you know it had an impact on me and I think that's part of where my struggle with food kind of came from a little bit um but anyway so then when I grew up when I came became an independent person I was like I'm not doing that you know I'm not gonna do that I'm always gonna have food I'm always gonna have everything's gonna be stocked I'm gonna have choices and I sort of took that overboard a little bit I guess so I had just started to work on that when I moved back to Wyoming I was like you know what new me um I'm just gonna grocery shop every week for the things that we need so that things aren't going bad and um I'm kind of thinking like meal oriented you know um and then COVID hit <laughs> so then like the whole world went into like normal Nina thinking, right? Like Nina pre-growth thinking where you had to be stocked up because everything shut down. So like to a degree, I was still kind of in that mind, you know? So I still had extra stuff. And um, also my brother, he lives and works in DC and he's involved in politics. So whole other thing, but he was kind of able to tip me off a little bit, you know, like watching trends and seeing what was happening like hey you should probably go to the store stock up on a few things um that type of deal so we did that um and we my family did not struggle at all during that to get supplies um we had toilet paper um I that was actually one of the things I thought of first was like paper goods anyway long story short so COVID kind of got me back into my like normal way of thinking, right? Like stock up, stock up, like keep things full, you know, you never know. And I think a degree of that is, is good, is healthy. Um, especially if you can afford to do so, you know, uh, you want to keep your family fed, you want to keep them safe, you want to have supplies. So to a degree, that's great. Um, but I kind of got back into that. Like, for example, my fridge upstairs right now, my produce drawers are like full to the brim. And I know for a fact I've got a bag of cucumbers that are probably going bad in there right now. And I'm probably going to have to toss them. So it's things like that I just want to get a hold of. So um, anyway, I was talking about I was going to meal plan. 
Um, I have been trying to just use up the food that I have. So like using what's in my fridge, using what's in my pantry, using what's in my freezer before I go back and shop. Um, so I can kind of start like clean slating it a little bit. With that in mind, I have kids, they drink milk. We go through that a lot. Um, there are a lot of things that they need that we go through a lot. So I'm still picking up those type of things. But um, overall, I'm trying to work through what I have. So I was thinking since I have time before I have to get my kids today, I would probably do like kind of a easy sort of like jot down of things I can make with what I have. Um, so for example, tonight, um, my mom and I had purchased some meat from the university here because they sell from the meat lab. Um, I mean, we're rural. Okay. Like we are in Wyoming. So, um, I grew up in the ag world too. So this is just like common to me, but I know it might not be for some people. Um, so the university has an agriculture department and, you know, the students are learning about cattle. They're learning about like livestock in general, which involves slaughtering and cutting the meat and what meat cuts are best and how to judge a good meat cut and blah, 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 blah. So, um, anyway, often they do sales where, you know, the university grew the livestock, they slaughtered it. Sorry to get kind of oof on that. They slaughtered it. They packed it. They're selling it. You can get meat that you know where it came from for one. And it's usually cheaper um, and better quality than like Walmart or Safeway here. Um, so anyway, my mom and I went in together to get some meat last summer. Um, we got some lamb and some beef. I don't eat a lot of either of those things. So it's been sitting in my freezer. I've got ground lamb in there still. I've got some steaks in there. So I pulled out some ground lamb. I'm just going to do like a really easy comfort food meal tonight because like I said, I'm not really feeling like great. And I just kind of wanted some like pasta. And when I say pasta, I'm talking white pasta. Okay. White linguine with ground lamb which is like the greasiest meat you can possibly get like when you cook it you've got to like paper towel it twice you know to get the grease off um and then I know I have red sauce so I'll probably you know canned red sauce I'll probably just do that and then I, my kids will have like parmesan cheese on theirs anyway so that's what I'm gonna make for dinner and I've got a ton of frozen veggies so I'll probably do like frozen broccoli with that but I have a lot of fresh ones too like zucchini so maybe I should do that instead <laughs> anyway so um I'm going to start making meals out like that. See this? See this right here? He does not leave me alone. Ever. Okay, um, so I'm probably going to do that. Just line it out for stuff I can make. Oh my gosh. Um, with what I have in my fridge and freezer and pantry to get rid of all that junk. And then hopefully do like kind of a clean slate grocery chip next week is my plan. But we are out of milk, so I'll probably have to swing by and get some of that here soonish, like today, before I get the kids. Anyway, and then I also need to do a budget. So it's February. Um, I my finances are all over the place. I used to be a very frugal-minded, budget-minded person, but. When I moved back and I wasn't working for a bit and I was kind of living off my family, like helping me out, I kind of lost track of a little bit of that. So I want to redo my budget. I also need to fin finish my taxes. I've got some other... Sorry, guys. This is my life. If it's not children, it's dogs. Um, I have... He's got like food on his face for my kids. Um... Okay, so I want to get my budget in line, the meal plan in line. So I'm going to do some like home administrative work after my job job today. Uh, and yeah, I'll go for that. So it is 1.45. I've got 15 minutes. I am so tired. I'm going to try to drink this. And then potentially if I can get everything rigged up right, I'll show you guys just my meeting just for the heck of it. And then I'll be back on to say... Hello, after that, all right. Just here waiting 
for my boss to jump on the call. So we'll see. It's a weird angle. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying this lip color lately. And I don't know, I just, I also like how, like I like wearing glasses too. So I just feel, <laughs> I just feel kind of cute when I'm like work ready or class ready. Oh my gosh, I really hope he gets on here. <sighs> Sometimes he stands me up with not meaning, without meaning to, but it's funny because he requested this meeting. So, we'll see. Also, um, this screen here that you can see is like my second monitor. So, I don't know if I'll have, well, I'll probably move some stuff over there, but it won't be where my Zoom peeps at all, or my Zoom peeps come up. I mean, I guess I could do that right now. Let's show you guys. See, there he is. <laughs> Got a lot of work life these days. And my dog. Hey, Hans, you gotta give me some space, bud. Thanks. Give me some space. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Terrible to think this way, but I'm like, sometimes I get frustrated when he's late or he like doesn't come on at all. Cause I'm like, I could be doing other things. Like I could be doing other work things, but I could also be like doing my budget right now. Oh, oh, I totally meant to take Zuli for a walk today too, but it is really cold it's really cold and it's Wyoming so as I've complained about before it's windy 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 and I mean she gets really cold too like she hates being out when it's super cold her coat is minuscule and she doesn't really enjoy wearing the jackets that I've gotten for her so she's just waltzing around my office space Oh boy, five minutes late. I'm gonna be so embarrassed if he jumps on here and I'm like talking to myself, but um, so this year I signed up for an HSA um, and an FSA, so a health savings account and a flexible savings account. Um, I really don't know what I'm talking about at all when it comes to like benefits or money, <laughs> but hey, no, Zuli. Let me show you what she did in addition to my shoes. See this? This was a rental book for school. No longer a rental book. How to buy it. Anyway, um, luckily I can still read all the pages on that. So I signed up for those accounts and the HSA is nice because my health insurance through work is really kind of it. Um, <laughs> it, it's a terrible plan. I have like, I can't remember. I think my deductible is $5,000 and then I don't even know how much they start paying after that. I mean, my thought is 80 because typically that's, I think what it is. 
So they'll pay, they'll pay like 80%, but then my out-of-pocket max is like $13,000 or something crazy. So the health insurance is kind of a joke, but what's nice is I get an HSA in which my employer pays for my premium every month. So I don't have to pay a premium for this crappy health insurance. And they put $90 into my HSA every month, you know. It's like a thousand dollars to go that I, that I would have that I could pay towards my medical bills. So as long as nothing, you know, really awful happens to me, it's fine because all I really do is get my um, prescription medications. Um. Hello. Well, hello there. How are you? Good. I was getting a little nervous here. I was, I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm not to talk this out just with myself. It's going to be a nightmare. Uh, thought I was going to leave you hanging, huh? Did you get my email? <laughs> um, I just saw it. I just walked in and saw it and then I jumped on the call. So oh, geez, Louise. The notes, okay. Boom, I'm opening them up right now. Okay, it's kind of lengthy. Um, I honestly haven't even read through them again after I just kind of jotted thoughts down and sent them off, so... It's like all I did was sit there on that call and I look like I've been in like a windstorm or something. Oh my gosh, maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I just want to pop out, pop on and kind of do an outro. Um, I know I didn't do a heck of a lot of like actual stuff and I really haven't in my channel yet. I've just been mostly introducing you to me, you to me, me to you, myself to you. Um, so yeah, like I said, once I kind of feel like I've gotten through some of the nitty gritty like Nina info or like my family info, um, I'm going to start doing more specific stuff, but still not at that point in my planning yet, mostly because I don't have my like better data storage and recording stuff set up. So I'm not as professional as I'd like to be quite yet. But anyway, if you stuck with me, if you watched today and just kind of heard um, how my day went and what I'm doing. I super appreciate you. I would really appreciate you if you would hit subscribe. Um, cause I'm trying to get some followers, trying to build my channel up. So, um, drop me a comment if you want to say, Hey, and other than that, I'll see you next time.